Well, good morning. Today we're in 1 Samuel chapter 3, talking about how Samuel hears from God and how God has a special purpose for him. So, enjoy our puppet skit. See you at the end. Hey guys, it's Polly. In 1 Samuel 3, we learn about Samuel hearing from God. Oh, so God actually spoke to him. Yep, because God has a special purpose for our lives. Well, uh, what did God say? Well, when Samuel was laying down to sleep, God spoke to Samuel and said he would use Samuel to do a work in Israel and that he would, uh, you know, have to judge Eli's house for their sins. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is pretty heavy stuff. What do you know? It sure was, but Samuel was faithful to talk with Eli and then God used him to help guide the nation of Israel. So. I was pondering, what special purpose does God have uh, for you in your life? Huh? Let's check it out. Pshh. Oh, God gave me a special purpose to serve my friends by helping them when they come into the bathroom. You know, since I like live in the bathtub. Hey, quackers, do you need help? Ah. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, brush those teeth anyway, man. That's great. You're doing good. Hola, Benny. What are you doing? Hmm? Oh, I'm just using the toilet, Sancho. Thank you for asking. Oh, that is bueno. Can I help you with anything? Uh, no. No, no, no. I am fine. Oh, okay. Well, let me know if you need, like, more toilet paper or anything like that. Okay, I just need to be left alone now. You go, uh, you go away, okay? Bye-bye. God gave me a purpose to be a servant and to take care of this bathroom, even though, you know, some people may not understand. <laughs> Bye, Benny. And now it's time for Deep Thoughts with Blub Blub. Oh, yes, God has big plans for Samuel's life, just like he has big plans for you. If you believe that God has big plans for your life, oh, you gonna be blessed. Guaranteed. I'm so happy that God has a purpose for our lives. Yeah, it makes me want to celebrate with an epic super power battle. Wow, we just unleashed all our power. <laughs> Oops, excuse me, Jesus loves you. I will see you later, and good bye-bye. It's interesting, as God speaks to Samuel and, you know, reveals he's got a special purpose for him, that he starts with, Samuel's got to go talk to Eli and tell him this hard stuff about how God's going to judge, judge his household. And oh, that's hard. But it reminds me, that as we serve the Lord, as we have special purposes to serve the Lord, what we do for the Lord may be hard. It may be out of our comfort zone. It may be not what we think. But if God is calling us to do it, we do it in His strength. We do it with boldness. And uh, we do it with joy because we're serving the Lord. As God calls you in, in special purposes to serve Him, do it in His power and enjoy. So with that, let's pray. Lord, we love you. Thank you again for this book that you've given us. And as Lord, we watch <clears throat> and read about Samuel's life, we pray that you would uh, speak into our lives as well, that you have a plan and a purpose, a special purpose for each of us. Lord, we want to walk in that. We thank you and we love you, Jesus, in your precious name. Amen. God bless you. Mm -hmm.